Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, we're going to continue with building a service database. So what I want to do is, first of all, have a look at this parts table. If I open that one up. So what I want to do here is work out what the cost of these um, items are. So I'm going to do a calculation in a query in a second. And then I want to work out what profit we've got and also how much stock we're using per service. So if I open this one, stock cost used. So use one item, it was £10 value. So that's a formula there, which I'll show you in a second. And then a profit, service profit, a working out how much the service cost taking off the cost for the parts. I'm not getting involved with man hours just yet, but that is a cost to the service. So 10 items, £100, take it off £300 service charge. So the value is now £200. And then I want to create a report, service profit report, where it gives you the breakdown and what your profit on different services was by month. So this is December, January, and so on. So I'll close those down, close them all down. So the first one is um, how much does the stock, our stock, um, how much is it worth? So these parts, how much are these worth? So let's create a query to do that one. Quick query design. We want the parts table in there. Just get rid of these property sheets. So if I use this little asterisk, it will bring all these fields down. So they're all there, collapse in one. And then I can click into the next field and work out the, the value of the stock. So to see what I'm doing, I'm going to do Shift F2 to zoom up. And then I'm going to call this stock value. And then I need to do a semicolon. And now I need to refer to the fields um, in this table. So we've got quantity and item cost. So it's going to be quantity, QTY, times item cost that will work that one out close the square bracket wrong one click ok have a look so that's worked it out as your stock value now you can also um, if i click on the totals feature there you can get a total sum stock value there that's your total stock value so i'm not going to save this query because i've already got it saved but I'll just leave it as query one. That's that one. Save yes. Yeah, okay. So that's query one. Now we want to work out um, what the cost is. So stock used cost. So there's 10 used there. So it's a similar sort of formula there. I'll just do this one again. Create new query. So now um, the table we need now is going to be the service table and the parts table let's move those across now there's a join already there i've not created that join but you could create that join in in your database tools window but it doesn't matter for this so what i need is um, a price for stock used so if i go back to this one just have a look at what's in there so i've got the id the date and then the part and the quantity and then the formula so let's do that again. So we've got the service ID, double click, the date, and then the part item and part quantity, and then the formula. So we need to do Shift F2 in this again. So Shift F2. So this is what we're calling this stock. Stock value used, stock value used colon then we work it out so it's going to be part quantity part qty times item cost from that table item cost close the bracket click ok have a look so there's two of them at £10, so one, 10 of them at £10, so that's, that's worked it out. Now I'll save that, I'll just save that as query two. 
yeah good too now we want to do the profit one so if i have a look at that one so now we've got parts cost per use and then we want the profit so that's taken off the the price for the parts from the actual service cost so if i close this one down and what i need to do is copy query two so i'd have to do all that again copy query two just paste it I'll leave it as copy as query two okay obviously i'm only doing this for this practice because i've already got these queries but you would need to name these so you can understand what they are so if i go into design on this what you need to do now is work out a profit so you've got stock value use so i'm clicking into the next column and i'm doing shift f2 again to zoom up calling this profit colon so it's going to be price of service minus stock value used. So open square bracket, price of service, close square bracket, bracket minus stock, square bracket first, stock value used, close square bracket okay have a look so that was a 500 pound cost minus 10 pound that's it minus 100 pound that was a 300 pound cost so the service number seven let's open the service table service number seven was 300 pound service number seven was 300 pound minus 100 pound of stock so the value is now only 200 pound close that service down close this down save it as that now the next thing is to create a report so basically we've got this report here which is looking at that query and then it's all nicely i've used the wizard it's nicely sorted out but the wizard does concatenate and as i've said on previous videos i personally would do this myself manually so you don't spend half your life getting rid of all the, the truncated cells not concatenated said the wrong word so let's create that one so we need it to be on copy of query two create report wizard we want all of these fields and then next what grouping do we want we want service date because we want it by month next group by month follow it through you've got some summary options here now so we've got grouping on i just want a sum on profit you might want to do a percentage of total for some so i'm not sure if that's a, a, any, any use but i'll take them both click ok to that Next, want it lands landscape. Next, even though it says that, it still doesn't do it. In fact, it does do it. That's why it's probably truncating. If I take that off, go next and call that RPT so we know what it is. RPT and the proper name normally. Finish. Still chopped it off, but it's not as bad as what it was when I first did it. So we need to fix this so we can see what this is. So we're going to, if we just close it for now, and we need to bring these back across a little bit so we can see them. So I'll just drag these across, these formulas. And then the total one at the bottom, like so. And this one can come in a bit. This is my whole point of not using the wizard for certain reports because it's got a, it's got a use, the wizard. But to be honest, the amount of time you spend getting this bit right now is just not worth the effort. I think it's just as quick to do it yourself. See what that looks like. Okay, that needs formatting to currency. The percentage is there. So your total profit per month is giving you the percentage of the profit per month. So I just need to go back into this and set that property to currency. Currency, property, format, currency and come across to do the other one sum of profit currency um let's have a look 1097 1600 the total at the bottom is already in pounds so that's okay so that is your report your profit report and then obviously as you get more involved with this you can add in um, man hours so if you've got a four hour 
job, what is that man time, and stuff like that. All those things can be added in at a later date, but not for this session. Uh, I will save that, then I can delete all these off later on. But so we're back to what I had created initially. Okay, so that's the end of this session. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.